bad things keep happening to me. The last few weeks, it has been one friggin' thing after the other. And it all started when... I decided to start my spring lean out and do it on camera and film myself weighing myself. The first few weeks went so smooth. And at the end of week three, I got sick. So sick, I was like super bloated. I had stomach pains and cramping. It pretty much stopped my weight loss. Like the scale wasn't moving for two full weeks. My whole life, like I've lost, I've lost 130 pounds. I've kept it off for eight years. I've worked through like emotional eating. Last year, I I leaned out, I got into my first size four, but I've always left a little on the table. And this year I really wanted to, I committed to pushing it and really getting in the best shape that I'm capable of. Pushing myself, you know, as far as I can go. And of course, when I do that, I get sick. After week one, I was like, okay, I'm pushing through this. I'm leaning out anyway. I stuck to my diet. I kept pushing through. I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? Just keep going. After week one, what happens? It's a Tuesday, Kyle and I were both sick with the same like weird stomach bug. We just finished filming a video, we did a workout, we go to eat our last meal of the day, our cottage cheese, and what happens? The freaking power goes out. And we're like, okay, maybe, you know, wait a few minutes, maybe it'll come back on. Half hour passes by, okay, we eat our cottage cheese in the dark. All right, we'll push through this. A few hours go by. We have our whole week's worth of food in the fridge for our lean out, and we're like, we're gonna lose it all if the power keeps staying out. So, you know, we do, it's winter in Canada, so we put our stuff in the cooler, we put it in the garage, we're like, okay, we're good. Then we check, then we start laughing because we're like, okay, this has gotta be a test. We check and literally the only place that the power is out, and you guys are gonna, like, no joke, the only place that the power was out was our block. Everywhere else had power except our block. We were laughing. It's like those cartoons when you have the cloud of rain like, that literally follows the character around. It's like Kyle and I committed to this lean out, both of us. And it's like the world is like, oh, are you really sure? We're Do like, you really want it? Is the weather now troll? No, is the, is the power now trolling us too? So then we pushed through that, okay? We laughed at it. Eventually, I think it was like six to eight hours. We, we eventually went to sleep at like four in the morning. The power still wasn't on. But anyway, we woke up and it was on. So we like, okay, we pushed through it. We're starting to feel a little better. Now it's gonna be smooth sailing, right? So I'm going down to the basement and I'm putting my clothes, I just washed them, I let them air dry. And I'm like, my clothes feel a lot more wet than usual. And I look up and freaking water is coming from the ceiling, our pipe burst leaking so we have to shut the water off now we have no water no power we're sick we got no water now <laughs> we're like okay and the plumber guess what the plumber they can't come they're not available on an emergency it's like one in the morning and they can't come they're like well we'll have to come the next day so we're like we're gonna be without water how are we gonna take showers we wanted to film that mick chicken bowl video the next day and we're like how are we gonna do that so we're like okay you know what <laughs> We're just gonna power through this and we're gonna just shower with bottled water. So you wanna know what we were doing? We were being, we called being each other's sinks. I would wash my hands and Kyle would pour the water from a bottle and then I would do the same for him. And we're like, okay, we're pushing through this. And we did and eventually like they came and they fixed the pipe and stuff. But what it got me to realize is like, it's gonna keep coming. And I, it also got me to sit there and look back on my whole life and realize Bad things have been happening to me my entire life since I was little. Traumatic childhood. I had um, a really bad body image that I developed at the age of five. I developed emotional eating at 10. I struggled with weight my whole life. And then, you know, the emotional eating, it caused me to gain so much weight that I ended up in my late 20s weighing my heaviest, 275 pounds. And my weight was causing me serious health problems like sleep apnea, where I was stopping breathing seven times a night. And so I look back at all that stuff and I was like, why do bad things keep happening to me? And then I realized, I looked at something and I said, I'm calling them bad, but every single time that I've gone through something, it has led to me pushing through and realizing that I'm more resilient and stronger than I actually thought I was. So is it really bad? And then it reminded me of something that Tony Robbins said, there's a fly landing on the camera, friend, on my sassy. 
sorry. So it got me to think about something that Tony Robbins said a long time ago in a documentary. He said, your biggest problem is thinking you shouldn't have any. And then I realized like, we call them, call them what you will, bad things, challenges, problems. But when you stop and look at them, are they really? Because they force you to be resilient and push through. And everything that's ever happened to me has ended up pushing me to where I am now, getting more confident, working through my anxiety. I have fully worked through my emotional eating where I don't need food to cope anymore. I've kept the weight off for eight years. And um, every day I feel so much, I'm letting the real me come through so much more every day. And it wouldn't, I don't think it would have happened if I hadn't have gone through all those so-called bad things. And I wanted to make this video and share that with you guys in case you're sitting there going, what the heck? My whole life is full of these bad things. But I've started to look at them and Kyle and I have both looked at them like gifts. Yeah, you acknowledge the suckage of it. It doesn't mean that you don't go, well, having no water kind of sucks or like the power turning off and losing all our food, especially when inflation is crazy for food right now. Yeah, that sucks because before I would go the opposite and go, okay, I can only be positive. No, I've learned, I acknowledge, okay, I don't really like this. Like this really isn't cool, but now what can I do about it? Is there something in my control? So I look at it, I take an action, and then if there isn't, I let go, I try to let it go and just go, whatever's supposed to happen is gonna happen. It might not be an outcome that I want, but it might be something that I need. These things that we call problems or bad things, they might not be what we want, but they might be what we need to push us through and see that we're so much more capable than what we think and so much stronger than we think we are. And that's what I think life is. I think we're here because we're supposed to learn. And these things, we're supposed to look at them at gifts as gifts so that we can learn and grow and be the best version of ourselves that we possibly can. The Tony Robbins yeah. documentaries on Netflix, it's it called I Am Not Your Guru and we both highly recommend that you guys check it out. Yeah, it's really good. And that one line really sticks with Kyle and I, and we say it all the time. And it really helps us through, especially when like we go to complain about something and we're like, wait a minute, why, why would we think that we're not supposed to? That's what life is. You get a problem, you figure it out and you work through it, you push through it, you know? And so if you're struggling with something, just know you're not alone. Stuff happens to everyone, but if you look at it like, not a problem, but a gift, you can actually make it work for you. I'm gonna be 42 very soon. Nicole's almost 40. And I've been waiting for decades for all my ducks to line up in a row and take it from me and Nicole, that day's not coming. Y your ducks will never, ever, ever line up. There's like, Eckhart Tolle says there's like three major areas, like your body, your finances, and your spiritual life. Yeah. Um, or your relationships, sorry, not your spirit, your spirit, your body, and your finances. And one of those three major issues that all humans have is usually off at one point, at any given point. Yeah, and like, you know, Kyle and I, we have like a beautiful relationship. So usually like it's the other areas going behinga and we're like, okay, we can push through this. We can do this. We've done this so many times. Life has thrown a lot of crap at us, just like it has at everybody watching. And we've learned, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And if you have a goal, do not let the world testing you get in your way because the world is gonna test you. It's gonna go, do you really want this? You do want it. If you set a goal, you want it, you get it. No matter what happens, you push through. Find something you can do or let it go and know that whatever is supposed to happen is supposed to. You got this, the friends. Don't let life get in your way. Take it as a gift. Make it work for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Code Nicole for weight loss ebooks and HTLT subs. If you like this style of video, please do a thumbs it up and leave a comment in the comments. Let me know so that I'll make more of these. I love you. I'll catch you in the next one. Cute Rooney. Peace. Peace. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.